write a C++ program to find a number is prime or not. In this program, we write the logic to check a number is prime or not by dividing a number from 2, 3, 4 up to half of the number. If a number got divisible, we say that it's not a prime number. If after the completion of all the division process, if the number is not divisible by any of that, then we display that the number is a prime number. An integer variable named n is declared in the program to store the number. The cout and insertion operator is used to display the message enter a positive number. And cn followed by extraction operator is used to read the value of the integer variable n from the keyboard. cn is an iStream object. An if statement is used to check whether the number entered is less than 2. If the number entered is less than 2, so it's an invalid entry because it's not defined with the prime number. So if it's an invalid, we stop the execution of the main method by returning minus 1. If the user entered number is greater than or equal to 2, we check whether it is a prime number or not. For doing the same, we are declaring an integer variable which is named as flag. The value of flag has been initialized as 0. This flag variable is used to indicate whether the number n will get divisible by 2, 3, 4, up to half of that particular number n. So in order to do the division process, we require the numbers starting from 2 up to half. For that, we are using a for loop. The for loop has been created with an index variable i. The value of i has been initialized as 2 and it goes up to half of the number i less than or equal to n by 2 and each time the value of i gets increased by 1. Inside the for loop we check whether the number n is divisible by i that is if n mod i equal to 0. If it is divisible by any of the number 2, 3 up to half of the number, we make the value of flag as 1 and stop the execution of the loop by break statement. That means after the completion of the for loop, the value of flag will be either 1 or 0. It will be 1 if the number n got divisible by any of the numbers, otherwise it remains 0. So if it remains 0, that means the number is a prime number. So after the for loop, we check whether the value of the flag is either 1 or 0. If it is a 1, that means the number is not a prime number because it got divisible by some of the number. So we display by using a cout object that the number is n is not a prime number. In the else part, by using a cout object, we display that the number n is a prime number. Cout object has to be used with insertion operator. The insertion operator is indicated by two less than symbol, which redirects the data into the cout object. So that's why the name is named as insertion operator. It inserts the content into the cout object and cout object will indirectly display the data on the output device. Execute and see the program output.
Thank you for watching this tutorial.